Hello tech people, today we are going to be making this beautiful RGB clock using an ESP32. It shows the time, date and weather. Let's get started. We will be using this ESP32 Nano, but you can use any ESP32 variant and a 32 by 64 RGB matrix panel. I got these from PCBWay. Besides manufacturing high quality custom PCBs, they also have a module store where you can buy all kinds of components for your projects. I ordered them on their website and got it delivered super fast and well packaged. I also got these custom PCBs printed from them for my next video. Before we start coding, we need to create an account in any free weather server. I'm using Open Weather Map. Create a free account at openweathermap.org. Once logged in, click on your profile drop-down and select my API keys. Then write a name for your project and click Generate. Your API key will be generated. Note this down. Next, you need the coordinates of the place you're getting the weather for. You can simply use Google Maps or any map to get the coordinates. On Google Maps, click on any location and it will show the coordinates. Copy these. Now that we've gotten the necessary data, let's look at the code. Code link is in the description, download and open it. Make sure you have installed your board and selected it here. Then open the library manager and search and install the ESP32 Hub75 library async HTTP request library and the Arduino JSON library. Now, we need to connect the LED panel to the ESP32. Connect the cables that came with the RGB panel. This is the pin diagram of the RGB matrix panel. This is the pin diagram of a connected Hub75 cable. Connect these to any digital pins on the ESP32 and change it in the code shown here. So, one by one, connect a pin to the ESP32 and change the respective pin in the code. Make sure to check the pin diagram if you are using a different RGB panel. Then, connect a sufficient power source to the RGB panel. I'm connecting a 5 volt 2A power adapter here. It should be fine as long as I don't run the panel on full brightness, but if you have a bigger power source, it's safer. Now you are ready to modify the rest of the code. Replace the SSID, password, latitude, longitude, and API key variables, and upload the code. This code updates the time directly from the internet every second. Ideally, we should use an RTC module to save power. Comment and subscribe if you want a part two using an RTC module and automatic brightness and more features. Thanks again to PCB Way for sending us the components and making this video possible.